Dear learners, Assalamu alaikum. Once again, uh, welcome to CPSCS online class and my channel Chemistry School. This is Shafiqul Islam Shafiq with you. Dear viewers, today I want to discuss about titration and I am going to uh, give you some techniques regarding titration which will be helpful to you to better understand. Dear learners, titration, what is titration? Uh, this is a measuring process we can measure uh, unknown solutions concentration. I mean, we have two solutions here. One is uh, non-solution and another is unknown solution. What is non-solution? The concentration of a solution when known to us, then it will be the non-solution. And when the concentration is unknown to us, then it will be the unknown solution for us. Okay. Dear learners, if I uh, uh, take it uh, 10 milliliter of and uh, 0.1 molar uh, sodium hydroxide solution this solution is known to us because of here look at this the molarity is 0.1 here the molarity is known to us another uh, if we keep uh, the acl solution but the molarity is unknown for us we want to determine the molarity of, I mean the concentration of HCl by using this non-solution. This is the titration. This is an experimental uh, process. Uh, dear learners, uh, have a look on the figure. There is a figure, there is uh, some uh, arrangement of the apparatus. Uh, this, is, this process is volumetric uh, analysis, we may call this. Here, there is a uh, glass apparatus. This glass apparatus is called the burette. And this bullet uh, having a uh, uh, int, there is a screw and a stop cork. And this bullet contains the solution of ACL here. If we rotate this uh, stop cork or screw, then the solution from bullet comes out to uh, the another uh, uh, glass apparatus. It will be the conical flux. This is the conical flux, another uh, glass apparatus, dear learners. Here, look at this. There is a solution here, sodium hydroxide. I mean sodium hydroxide, uh, here we contain uh, 10 milliliter and 0 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide. This solution is non-solution and this solution is unknown solution. We uh, uh, take a, a stand here to keep the bullet and look at this, dear learners. When we add HCl to that, this solution, then this acid and base. So there is a titration between acid and base. We have uh, some titration, mainly two titration here, acid and base titration. On, on the other hand, another is redox titration. And now I am talking about uh, the acid base titration, dear learners. Here, when acid comes to the conical flux, I mean then acid and base react each other and neutral uh, when neutral the total volume of sodium hydroxide then we uh, stop the cork stop the screw when the reaction will be completed when uh, how can we understand the reaction is completed i mean how much amount of sul uh, hydrochloric acid is needed to neutral 10 milliliter of sodium hydroxide and that is why we use a substance to indicate the endpoints of the reaction this is the indicator the indicator means the indicates the in point indicates indicates the in point in point of reaction of reaction we know that there is some indicators we have uh, most commonly used indicator is litmus paper you know very well uh, the whether the uh, solution will be acidic will be basic or neutral we can easily find out the using by using litmus paper but here we use here the another uh, substance which is, is made from weak acid or weak base this is the indicator uh, we use here uh, methyl red methyl orange uh, like uh, indicator the indicators are colorless in basic medium i mean if we use some drops of uh, methyl orange here methyl methyl orange 
डेल अनार्स मिथाइल ऑरेंज then this uh, then this uh, indicator doesn't show any color here but when the solution will be neutral or acidic then the indicator i mean methyl orange shows its color methyl orange shows the violet color at the end of the reaction i mean in neutral medium when uh, we can get the color of this reaction then we stop the screw here then we just uh, find out how much amount of uh, uh, volume uh, in volume the ACL is needed to 10 milliliter neutralize the 10 milliliter solution of sodium hydroxide. Look at this here 6 uh, T to uh, 20 milliliter needed value. What will be the value here? 40 milliliter. This is the 40 milliliter needed value for uh, hydrochloric acid to neutral the sodium hydroxide. The related reaction is here, dear learners, ACL plus sodium hydroxide and uh, uh, salt and water will form here. Salt and water will form here, okay. Here, look at this, uh, dear, dear learners, to know this, here, the volume here now, the acid volume is VA and the here, uh, the volume of uh, base is VB and the concentration of uh, uh, base is SB. Here, look at this. The volume is now we can get from the bullet reading. The volume of sodium hydroxide is given there, volume of concentration is given there. Now we can use a volumetric equation and then we can easily find out the concentration of ACL. We can use our equation A into VBSB, B into VASA. Here, Look at this, dear learners. VB means the volume of base is given there. SB means the molarity, I mean concentration of base is given there. And the volume of acid is also we can get from the bullet by the uh, volumetric process. And our target to find out the concentration of the acid. By this, by using this equation, we can easily find out the concentration of acid. Here, the concentration of acid is, it will be determined by the using of sodium hydroxide solution. This total process is called the titration, dear learners. And here, there is another two term, A and B. A is the mole of acid, which we will get from the reaction here one mole of acid is uh, just uh, um, we can get from the reaction after balancing this equation you should balance the equation first then one mole of acid i mean a is here uh, for one and also there is another uh, substance base the b here b is the mole of base from the reaction mole of base from the reaction here b is the mole of base and here uh, from the equation we can get the one mole sodium hydroxide uh, is taken uh, take part in the uh, chemical reaction so b will be the one then we can easily get uh, the um, uh, value of the concentration of acid dear learners okay that's uh, uh, that's all today dear learners for, uh, regarding the titration and uh, thank you for watching my videos uh, keep watching my next videos in the next videos we will solve some problems mathematical problems uh, regarding the titration okay thank you all if you like this video please do share comments and don't forget to subscribe